chopping this. I'm fashioning a new model. Edges were biting on account of this downpour. Wee catching snails. She's rising. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Maybe we can make a deal. We'll not plow in bargain with no one. Vengeance. That's what we want. Get the hell out. Now. <laughs> and here I thought we'd have a day without corpses. Herb Majors pay top coin for the special bits of rare creatures. Wonder how much we'll get for his eyes. You've got my fucking goat! Ah! Six friends all worked up. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Ooh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. Expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stenches rape and death.
but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion. From dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay. No, nay, Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess, my goat! She's fled. Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them.
There you are. Here, goat. Here, princess. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. All right, time to try the bell. Come on, let's go see the beller. Come on, damn it. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? This way, your grace. Where the hell did you go? This area. Good thing I ran into him earlier. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The white wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Will this do? over? Is that it? That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was, and she miscarried. Hmm, Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. 
Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. Twas the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help, lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year, but we'll find a way all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned forefathers' eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefathers Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. strike.
Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! yourself a barrel of Lyrian! I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? They ran from you, didn't Come on! Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. 
Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Let us stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. Did you give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Shows a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? By plowing now, I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? 
Watch things on the prowl. Look! Get back. While searching for the witch Ciri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Ciri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Ciri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets very restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods. Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. Uh-huh. 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 
did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubricant. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again.
by blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Folk don't object to your white mug. Boy, lads, fancy an outing to find that she beast. Bring the Smiths, lads. No! Bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Shoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more. A 
do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Mm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Look. Who's that? At the room. Come on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! <laughs> 